Devin Booker is probable for tonight's game in Cleveland against the Cavs. Boy, what a good thing that is right now for the Phoenix Suns, right? This is good news, Basin Onions. Not even questionable. You know, for the most part, it's always the questionable tag that a player will get. Um, and I, I don't, probable means you're definitely playing, right? Yeah. I mean, questionable uh, for the most part. Even um, some hardcore broadcasters that I know very, very well will tell me all the time, NBA broadcasters, if they list a guy as questionable, he's going to play. Probably going to play. The, the odds are he's going to play, yes. But probable, oh my goodness. I, I mean, I think that's as good as available. Is it not? Yeah, I mean, that to me screams, let's see how he looks in pregame warm-ups, and then we're good to go, right? I mean, that's so it begs the question here. You're, okay, you're, so you're playing Cleveland tonight, and the Cavaliers have been one of the hottest teams in basketball. They've trailed off a little bit, but I, I've been using Christmas uh, or since Christmas as sort of the cutoff just because that's when the Suns really got going. And since Christmas, the Suns have a – what a 657 win percentage that's sixth in the nba cleveland has a 706 win percentage behind only oklahoma city and boston so these are two of the hottest teams in basketball over now almost the last three months um and i know i know sometimes it doesn't feel that way with the suns but they are still one of the hottest teams in basketball since basically the start of 2024 if devin booker's coming back i'm assuming he's about as close to 100 percent as you can be at this point right because there really is no reason to rush him back, even as much as we all want to see him play. You probably are going to lose a couple games here because you've got Cleveland and Boston coming up if Devin Booker's not in the lineup. Um, I'm sure they're not. I'm sure Kevin Durant doesn't think that way, but just in terms of managing when he comes back. But you'd rather lose the next two games than have Devin Booker not at 100% when the playoffs start. Yeah. No, you're right about that, man. I'm just so happy to see Devin Booker get back. And once again, he's probable. He is probable for tonight's game against the Cavaliers. But um, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But, you know, again, um, this is step one. This is finally it right here for the big three once again to reunite and get together. I think they've only played. How many games have they actually played? together all I think it's 23. season long. I think this will be the 24th. Yeah, right? I believe yeah, that's correct. Yeah. 23. That's stunning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it? Remember going into the season, we had a prediction as to what it was going to be, <laughs> and we were all... We uh, all way I overshot. Believed I believed I was at 40... Uh, no, I think 42? you and I were in the 50s, and then Aaron was Aaron was a little bit lower than us, and then we redid it like a month in. We're like, okay, okay well, this is absurd. And then we were like 27, 26, and 22 or something. Right. So, I, I mean, <laughs> 27 and 26 might very well be about where they finish. You know, exactly. And right now, this is going to be a sprint to the postseason, and they've got a very, very tough road to hoe. Just want to see how they play. They're not going to win. You're not going to go out there and win every game. Just because you got the big three out on the floor, we all understand that. We know that, especially as tough as their schedule is right now. I, I just want to see the competitive fire. Because I we were talking about this. Suns are going to be one of the most dangerous teams in the postseason. I, I don't care who. As long as, playing. as, as, long long as, as they're, they're healthy, healthy they, yes. Right? They, they are the team that if you're not <laughs> – Let's see, how can I have phrase this the right way? If you're not a Suns fan or a fan of who they're playing, like if, if you're just a fan of Milwaukee, right? Okay, you're going to watch the Bucks in the playoffs. But then when it's like, okay, I'm going to watch another, you're going to watch the Suns game because good luck figuring out what's going to happen in that series. Could the Suns go out and lose in the first round? Who would they play right now? Minnesota? I think they beat Minnesota, but you know what I mean. They could. They, could they lose to the Clippers in the first round? Sure. Could they take out Oklahoma City in the first round? Sure. <laughs> Anything goes in a Suns series. I totally believe that, too, because of the talent. Yeah. That's the reason why. We look at Devin Booker. We look at KD. We look at Bradley Beal, and we see the talent right there. They just – I think this is a better team. They're a better team on paper after the trade deadline, and now they got to prove it. And I would say these are the games you're going to start watching very, very closely. I mean, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they, they play defense, ladies and gentlemen. So one thing they do, they play defense, just like the Boston Celtics. Yeah, Cleveland is uh, – now, I will say it sounds like Donovan Mitchell's not going to play for Cleveland. So there's – I mean, that's a huge part I of it. I thought he was going to go, as a matter of fact. Okay, that's I'll, big. I'll double-check that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. That? Okay, yeah. nice. Um, but, you know, also worth remembering for the Suns, 
these games do matter. I'm not. I'm not trying to say like, okay, well, you who cares if you lose the next two? It matters. I mean, the the the, the play in right now in the Western Conference. Uh, let's see. You tell me if these guys sound like they, des- they should be in a play in. Uh, Demonis Sabonis, De'Aaron Fox, uh, Luca, Kyrie, LeBron, Anthony Davis, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. No, it doesn't sound yeah. like they should be in a play in. Yeah, those those guys are all in the play in right play-in now. Play in right now. So you don't want to mm. be really involved in that because because <laughs> it is such a one and done scenario. <laughs> Yeah, it's so one and done. Again, I, I'm a big believer. I do believe this. Um, I don't think there's a lot of people in the association any longer that think you've got you got to get that number one seed. You got to you got to play these guys and get that one. I I honestly don't feel that. I'm I'm with you. Yeah, I, I think I, I think it's get into the postseason and go. be top six. Be, you know, specifically this year in the Western Conference, just get in the top six and sort it out. For the Suns, just be in the top six. Right now, they are sixth. They're two games back in New Orleans. They're a half game up on Sacramento and one game up on Dallas. So with what eighteen games left, these games carry a lot of importance because you're either going to start in a best of seven series. Right now, you'd be starting a best of seven series against Minnesota, or you might be in a one and done situation against Luca or Steph. So it's just, yeah, it, these these absolutely matter. But to your point, I don't think teams are like, well, we only got the number three seed and we really wanted number one. Like, it, we've seen it in the NBA. We saw it with the Suns a couple years ago. It doesn't really matter. It, it gets you one extra home game if it gets to a game seven. And what did that extra home game in game seven do for us against Dallas when the Suns won 64? It just let us get frustrated in person instead of watching it on TV. Yeah, but it's going to be really interesting, is it not, Luke? Because this little road trip, of course, uh, Cleveland, Boston, Charlotte, Milwaukee, this is going to tell us an awful lot, I think, about the Phoenix Suns. Do yeah. you not? This is going to, like, set the table. Well, if, if Booker's be playing, dinner. if Booker's playing, yeah, I think it yeah, would. Yeah, but I, I think I'm assuming he's yeah. going to play. Once again, he's probable. For this game, yeah. When you see a guy listed as probable don't in the NBA, that. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, what, Mel? What? I don't, don't know. There's pregame warm up and oh, there's don't. rolling ankle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> there's a late help the roll, stretch. The rolled ankle, please. <laughs> or the back with Bradley Beal. Katie, I, I should have asked Katie that right after I put his phone down. Yeah. I should have asked him. <laughs> Here's Katie, your phone back. Can you how do you question? roll your ankle in uh, warm-up? Yes, that was a great interview. It was. <laughs> he sits down, you steal his phone, <laughs> you ask him how he got hurt, he gets up and leaves, and I'm stuck talking to I you for an extra was... 10 minutes. <laughs> I just, I've, I don't know how many guys I've ever seen. No, as a matter of fact, I've never seen anybody roll an ankle when he didn't step on something that was uneven. Can we... Never speak of this again, <laughs> ever. What? What is? It, it why? didn't you, happen because that. that was right around this time last oh, year. It didn't stop. happen. It didn't happen. We all imagined that it was a massive hallucination in this city. Um, but for Booker coming back tonight, yeah, you know, to your point, four in a row now on the road. Nine of the next eleven on the road. I mean, if you want to really get into early April, you've got games in Denver, Oklahoma City, New Orleans in there too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the stretch. You you've got. That's and then that game on uh, on March 29th, Well, actually, even earlier than that, the game in Denver on March twenty seventh kicks off those final ten games too. So there's going to be some overlap. And you know, KD was talking about this very thing, just how many road games they had coming up over the next couple of weeks. And you stop and think about it, man. It does. You you would imagine you come together, don't you, when you're on the road? Just the whole I just, the mentality of going to play. You know, the Chicago Bears at Soldier Field. Oh, my goodness. Walking onto that field, it was awesome because you knew everybody despised you and wanted to hit you with a piece of pizza. <laughs> it's better than being Just in Philadelphia. Just throw it at you, right? I mean, it was great to walk into that environment and say, you know what? It's not going to go your way today. Even if it did go your way you walked down to the field said it's not going to go your way. And it felt great to be that guy. Well, four in a row on the road here, five in a row on the road starting March 23rd. So, yes, nine of the next 11. And this is – we're uh, firmly in the it's time to ramp up and get going here. If you're going to peak at the right time, you probably start doing it now. Yes. It's not like, well, in a month. And no, no, there's only 18 games left, and a lot of them are against teams that are uh, our title contenders. Thanks for watching Wolf and Luke. Tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.